Given the equations of motion, we have this, but we want this. So what's the relation between the thing that we have and the thing that we want? Before I do this, let me just spend some time talking a little bit more about this Jacobian matrix setup some notation which we'll use from now on for the rest of this subject. Uh, <coughs> I got an equation that said that a neighbor at time t was just a multiplication by a matrix of the neighbor at time zero. So this is linear, and what we know about linear problem is that whenever we have a linear problem in some matrix, we immediately look at its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. That we know. So the moment you have, have a matrix, we presume, I'll show you how to compute it, we presume you have computed it, we know that J, and you know, I'll be sloppy, I mean, should have T here and X zero, etc. And you know, if you write books on quantum mechanics, etc., then you know, this thing might be called J of initial point, initial time, or you care about Green's functions, and, you know, X T, T zero, T one, time t later or something. So, you know, this can be decorated as many symbols as you need, but I'll be sloppy and try to minimize the number of symbols. But the moment I have a matrix uh, visit, I get a set of eigenvalues of this matrix. I will always use capital lambda for them, and they are numbered. So there is a first one, second one, and there is a D of them. It will turn out that the things that worry us are, are most are the very large eigenvalues lambda, you know, much larger than one, because they will have a property that if you have some uncertainty here, they'll multiply by a large number. So there's a natural ordering of the eigenvalues when you're looking forward in time. And that is to compute them and then write them as a list such that lambda 1 is larger or equal to lambda 2, larger or equal to lambda 3. But then you think, aha, this is matrix of real, real elements. And we know that when we compute eigenvalues of matrix of real elements, either real and complex. So we have to put the magnitude signs here. Now when you have a complex pair, they have the same magnitude, but they have complex conjugate face. So that's why the equality signs are here. Also, if you have a symmetry, you might find out that because of symmetry, you know that from quantum mechanics, that you have degenerate subspaces, meaning that you might have a whole number of them which have the same magnitude. That's perfectly OK. And now, the matrix, each one of them, has associated with it an eigenvector. The meaning of the eigenvectors is that there's a natural basis that whenever I have finite time evolution, then I can choose coordinates originally to point along the eigenvectors uh, of this matrix. And then dynamics becomes one-dimensional because on each eigenvector is just multiplication by the eigenvalue. So instead of doing something very complicated in this one coordinate system uh, done from the eigenvector basis, I have, uh, you know, simple dynamics. And one thing that you might not be used to is when you look at the definition of this matrix as being the, there's actually nothing that says that this matrix should be symmetric. Now, so far you have lived this happy life of unitary matrices, etc., where everything was self-adjoint, uh, unitary, orthogonal. And that means that if I start here with orthogonal frame, you know, this will move it, deform it, but it will remain an orthogonal frame. 
However, in dynamics, this never happens. This is, you know, totally unlikely. So it's never true, you know, with some set of exceptions of measure zero, presumably, that J is it's transpose or that uh, in any sense J can be made into an orthogonal or unitary matrix. Or, so this is never true. And this goes by the name non-normality. It's an extremely important feature of nonlinear dynamics that the you know, right eigenvectors and left eigenvectors of this matrix are different. They're not orthogonal set within each other, they're only orthogonal from left and right eigenvectors. And this non-normality makes nonlinear dynamics much harder than quantum mechanics.